Hey, before we jump into today's video, give me just 60 seconds because in the next 60 seconds, I will share with you two tips on how I earn more money as a content creator and how you can do it too. Number one, when you're making videos, ask your viewers to like, comment, and subscribe. Every content creator, big or small, does this, so do not feel weirded out by it. The more viewer engagement you get, the more you get noticed by sponsors, which brings me to number two. Join Matchmade.tv. Matchmade connects creators with advertisers and you get Paid Matchmade works with a TikTok, Wargame.net, and Opera GX, which I was a part of. The platform is a very user-friendly. You see a game or a company that you want to do a sponsor for, just sign up. Or Matchmade will even reach out to you if you seem like a good match. Then you make your sponsor content and you get paid fast. The payments are super easy, no fussy emails. Everything is done on the Matchmade platform and it's very easy to use. They even have an active Discord server, which I am a part of if you have any questions or suggestions so if you are a content creator doesn't matter if you're big or small sign up for matchmate.tv link this in the description below and start earning some extra ka-ching ka-ching today thank you matchmate for the sponsor and now on to our show. Hi queens, it's Vivian and today I'm going to count down the top 10 most forgotten parts of Love Nikki compared to our older sister server, Miracle Nikki. Miracle Nikki is two years ahead of us, but we are now only 10 events behind them. So we're catching up fast in terms of suits that cost uh, diamonds, but there are some parts of Miracle Nikki that is not making its way to Love Nikki fast enough. And today we are going to count down that list starting with a number 10. Permanent hell events. In the future of Love Nikki, old hell events will be permanent. You will not have to wait however many years for them to return. It's in this uh, rainbow feature right here. In the Chinese server right now, there are four hell events that ended up being permanent, which are a Kalem at Ocean, Evernight Stream, Four Gods, and the most recent one, Wind, Flower, Snow, Moon. It costs 350 diamonds to unlock, and you get it temporarily for five days. Unfortunately, it's not a permanent opening thing, but you do get a one free attempt per day. This is a feature that a lot of players have been asking for. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you are ready for permanent hell events to come to a love Nikki. And number nine, we have Crystal Garden emotes. You can find them under your competition in the Crystal Garden shop. Head over to accessories, scroll all the way down, and yeah, it's going to be these like sad, angry, heart, a thumbs up, and all of these uh, dialogue emotes right here. Most Love Nikki players don't even know that these exist simply because it was never a thing in our game. It costs a minuscule amount of crystal roses, 10 at the very max. It features these uh, cute little uh, gifties, and the best thing is these items actually have stats. Yep, these are all foreground items, and you can use them in stylist battles, so they're not just little decor items. Will we ever get them in Love Nikki? Nobody knows, but let me know in the comments below if this is something that you would like to see in game. And while we're here, let's talk about the entire Crystal Garden shop in general. I feel like the Crystal Garden shop is neglected in both Love Nikki and Miracle Nikki. Aside from the emotes, we're actually all caught up to Miracle Nikki in terms of Crystal Garden shop, but people don't ask about it because Miracle Nikki has nothing new here too. Ever. Like the latest suit that was updated was the drummer suit, which was, I don't even know how many years ago. And then it hasn't updated since. Veteran players have saved tens of thousands of crystal roses with nothing to use it on. So this is a note for both Love Nikki and Miracle Nikki. Update something anything in the shop. It has been years. And number seven, we have home pavilions. Personally, I don't use home pavilions very often, but I know if I left this out, housing enthusiasts will be like, what the heck, Viv? Just because you don't use it, you know. <laughs> we are six housing pavilions behind Miracle Nikki, and it has been nine months since our last new housing pavilion. Where did they go, and why aren't we getting them anymore? Nobody knows, but let me know in the comments below if housing pavilions is something you'd like to see more of. And number six, we have Dawn Fronts. I just don't get how we can be almost all caught up with Miracle Nikki events, but we are so behind on Dawnfront battles. Uh, Dawnfront suits are super worth it because it's cheaper than all the regular events we get. For regular events, it's usually like a 3k plus diamonds for two suits. In Dawnfronts, it's slightly over 2k diamonds for two suits. We are missing four Dawnfront events. 
This is a Thon Front 7. This is the playing card girls. And then for Thon Front 8, we are missing the Neon Girl. And then for Thon Front 9, we are missing the Tom and Jerry sets. And then for Thon Front 10, we are missing the Goggle Girls. I actually made videos of all these events when they first debuted in Miracle Nikki. So if you want to check it out, I'll put the links of them below. At number 5, we have Dreamweavers. Look, you want these Dreamweavers, especially the free ones. Free Dreamweavers means free diamonds, stamina, gold, unofficial suits, and spirits, which make you score higher in-game. So, why not? As of today, we are missing 6 Dreamweavers. Number 1, it's Lunar's Phoenix Scroll. Number 2, Louise Penguin. These are so cute. Uh, number 3, a Queen Elf. Number 4, a Royce's Throne. Number 5, a Fusu Straw Mat. And number 6, Zhongli Ji's a Flower Bushes. Please, come to love Nikki! And number four, we have the Association Store Suits. I feel like this is less talked about because the Association Store Suits are not easy to complete. I need to uh, buy several of the originals to evolve, and the chance of them even showing up in the refresh right here is basically impossible even with the rates up. It's rough. But there's no denying that we are missing a lot of Association Suits, such as the circle from the Squid Game. I feel like that's the closest thing to uh, a Squid Game cost play and then there's a fairy and then there's this teddy bear and then there's this cloud one and now moving on to top three we have here co-op suits we are five behind miracle nikki and it is very much complained about because these are free suits and are super easy to get as long as you are in an active association here is one this looks like a detective style of suit and then here is another one i don't know how to describe this this is like a gamer suit i guess and then this looks like a sympathetic Patrick's Day suits. This is a beautiful star suit, and then here is a cloudy and style suit, and uh, here is a teddy bear suit, which we already have, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And number two, we have Around the World. The Around the World feature is a love feature of Love Nikki, especially for Star Recorder enthusiasts, because it gives a lot of free backgrounds. Miracle Nikki has a free background space off of Apple, Cloud, Lilith, Pigeon, and Wasteland. The only region Miracle Nikki is missing right now is Ruins and North. Love Nikki? We only have Apple and Cloud backgrounds. It has been way too long. Around the World just never updated since its release and players may argue that this is the most neglected part of Love Nikki. Hey, I'm with ya, but I have something else in mind for number one and it's something that I complain about all the time. The number one most neglected parts of Love Nikki are welfare suits. I made a list of free suits we are missing in Love Nikki. As of today, we are still missing 40 plus free suits in Love Nikki compared to Miracle Nikki and it is so frustrating because many of these free suits comes with free diamonds that we are not getting. For example, there are three detective events on this list and completing each of these suits gives a total of 390 free diamonds. Look, even if you don't love these free suits, at least love them for the free diamonds it comes with, which is why I am urging you, if you were to ask for anything from Momo, ask for free suits. We are in urgent need of more free suits. And that is all for the list of top 10 most forgotten features and suits. Do you agree with the list? Is there anything not on here that you think should be on here? Let me know in the comments below. I will see y'all next time.